everybody. Don't mess around and gave me a mic. Every time I get a mic, I feel like I'm Jodeci. Uh, yeah. Take my money. If you can hear me in the back, clap once. Wait a minute, can you hear me, baby? Shadyon Shimwell. I'm a city councilman in McKinney, Texas, in District 1. I'm newly elected. I typically I don't write speeches, I speak from the heart. But I took a few notes. First of all, I want to thank the new leadership council of Dallas for having me here. Um, come on, I said new leadership council of Dallas. Give me a round of applause. Shout out to a few of the people that I've seen here. Colin Allred, Christopher Hamilton, Daniel, Danielle Pelley, Candace Poros, the Bernie Kratz, Kevin Newbrick, the Collin County Young Dems, and um, you know, Michael Blake. So quick story. Last year, I was traveling the country as an activist, a civil rights leader, protesting across the country. And for the last few years, that's what I did in my community and across this country, fighting against injustices. And you would imagine that I was arrested so many times. There's so many mug shots of me out there, it's ridiculous. Um, so to fight and run a race in McKinney uh, as a black male, dreadlocks and tattoos and mug shots and criminal history, it was an uphill battle. Um, I was homeless. My father was killed when I was 12 years old. Uh, I put my head so many times on this road to be a, a young adult and a responsible father. I'm a single father. I raised four children. Anything that you can imagine that was up against, I was against all odds to run my race in the kitty. My opponent had three degrees. They would put his family portrait up against my mugshot. So last year I was arrested. I was the only arrest in Dallas at the Trump rally. The only arrest. As soon as I, as soon as I walked on the scene, they arrested me. They arrested me for offensive language. I didn't even say anything. But um, that's the type of work we do in the community. And I say all that to say, despite all those things that I was up against, here I stand as a second African American in the history of McKinney as a city council. That's progress, that's what this progressive movement is all about, and if we can change our city, and change our county, and change our state, and change this country, we can change the world. And so that's what the goal is, so if, if that isn't encouraged, I want to encourage everyone who doubted themselves. There's a lot of self-doubt going when you're running. Or maybe I'm not smart enough, or who's gonna vote for me, or I don't have enough money. Believe in yourself and other people will believe in you. Anyway, short story, um, I, went, I went to a Young Democrats meeting for the first time as I was running my race. This was a few months ago. And the night I went, I met Josh, and I met a few other people who were also at the Young Democrats meeting in Collin County. And I met some Bernie Kratz, and they're like, hey, Bernie Sanders is going to be in town tomorrow. I'm like, they're like, sure, no. I said, well, what time are you guys going? They're like, well, we're leaving at 6.30 in the morning because we want to volunteer. <laughs> well, I don't even know you guys, and that's extremely early, so I don't know if I'm going to do that. But I decided, hey, man, I'm all in. Every forum, every meet and greet, every, I mean, I knock doors from 9 to 9 for six months straight just to get into the runoff. And so I made it out to this Bernie, Bernie uh, Sanders event in Grand Prairie, and they just a lot of amazing speakers, a lot of amazing speakers, and Michael Blake was one of them. And so I feel like I feel like a kid meeting Colin Red for the first, all Red for the first time, meeting an NFL player, or meeting Michael Blake because he was on the stage, and I was literally down the stage like, "Hey, look at me, I'm running! Hey, come on, I'll be up, I'm running!" And so for, for like the last four or five months, I was telling people, hey man, I want to meet this Michael Blake guy. Like, he was so amazing. I want to meet this guy. <laughs> I just, and that's just how, I mean, this is how good God is working in my favor. And so I just want you guys to know, 
people, you do the right things in the community. I tell them that it looked easy the way that we won. We kicked some butt, we broke records. We had a 99.7% return on all voters from a general election to runoff election. We set records in McKinney, but the work started much longer, much earlier before then. For all the bad things that they had to say about me, and they had a lot of bad things to say about me, there was something positive to say about me. As bad as they talked about me, I fed the homeless, I, I gave rides to the elderly, I cleaned the community, I mentored to the youth. If you want to run and you want your community to support you, you have to support your community first and be a part of that community going forward. And I'm not gonna keep you all day. I just want you to know a little bit of my struggle where I came from, but at the end of the day, I was victorious, and from this day forward, I will either be councilman or former councilman, and I got to meet Michael Blake, and my dreams are coming true. If you want your dreams to come true, uh, fight the good fight, put your name on the line, nothing beats a failure but a try, and I'm Lashani, I'm Shimwell, thank you for having me.